In this problem, we have been asked to evaluate a limit and the limit is that of an infinite series. So the series is defined as 1 by root n square minus r square and it is given that r ranges from 0 to n minus 1. So again in such problems where we have to evaluate an infinite series, we basically know about two such circumstances this thing can happen. So one is when we have an infinite GP where the common ratio happens to be less than 1 and the other thing is when we can actually look at this series, infinite series to be converging to an integral. And in this case, it is that scenario that we will actually look at. Now, for that, we may need to make use of the fundamental principle of integration that this limit n tends to infinity of the sum of f of r by n times 1 by n, where r ranges from 0 to n minus 1, this, uh, this uh, sum actually converges to the integral 0 to 1 f of x dx. This is the thing which we have to make use of in this problem. So the ultimate aim is to convert the given series into this familiar form. So how can we make that? That is straightforward because 1 by root of n square minus r square can be written as 1 by n times square root of 1 minus r by n the whole square. So if you compare it with the form which I have given here, so we have 1 by n and the function which has the argument as r by n, that's the integral, that is the same function which we have to substitute in the integral. Hence the given sum, so if I call it as s, so I can write s is actually equal to the integral of 0 to 1 and what is the function that we are looking at? The function is nothing but 1 by square root of 1 minus, so wherever this r by n happen, occurred, you have to substitute x. So 1 by square root of 1 minus x square dx. And this is again a well-known integral. This is equal to sine inverse of x, where the upper and lower limits are 1 and 0. And hence, which uh, we can write sine inverse of 1, we know it is equal to pi by 2. And the answer to this problem is equal to pi by 2. So again, whenever such kind of infinite series are given, First thing would be a problem involving infinite GP. If that is not the case, try to convert it into a form so that it is equivalent to this infinite series and you can directly write it as an integral where the upper lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is equal to 1.